Joshua Smith. I am currently enrolled in North Mecklenburg High School. I'm kind of an athlete. I play quarterback, running back, anything the coach needs on the field. All right, there it is. And, uh, you know, I was telling some of the uh, viewers that, you know, we discovered you pretty much uh, two years ago. Um, over at Guarantee, had a huge game. Um, I think it was like four touchdowns and two kickoff returns and like 300 total yards of uh, offense. Um, you know, that's one of my favorite highlights, you know, in my career that I captured. And, um, you know, it, it got you a lot of attention, um, a lot of, you know, deserved recognition for that. Yes, sir. It very much did. I couldn't have done it without my teammates, though. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so talk a little bit about, you know, what you've gone through, because I, I think your story is, is, you know, very unique. And, um, you know, the things that you've overcome to achieve sickness that you've had. So, um, yeah, not many know, but my junior season, I set out maybe, what was it, six to seven games due to a heart injury that I was dealing with. Um, we found out with a heart of a champion that I, I was diagnosed with uh, a heart murmur, abnormal heartbeat, and my heart was just like bigger than normal size. So they took me out for maybe about six months. I wasn't able to enjoy my junior season with my teammates at, and coaching staff at North Mecklenburg. But I came back against so well, you know, you know how that kind of went. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just kind of happy to be back into it and doing what I love to do most. Yeah, man, and like I said, the way you've overcome that is just super impressive. I'm so proud of you. Um, so right now, we've got a lot going on in the world with coronavirus. Um, what are you doing to stay ready for next season? Actually, I'm, I'm inside. My father has been really pushing me to work out lately. I've been getting out, running a couple miles every day, doing what I have to do, which is going to keep me in shape so that I'm ready to get back into the season when the season has approached has approached very good very good now we talked about some of the plays you made um you know over at Garinger a couple years ago so last season when you did get back on the field what was the biggest play you think you made you know overall the biggest play that i think i made last season overall was when my first game back against hopewell mm -hmm. We were down maybe a couple points. I don't actually remember, but you know, this play didn't count, unfortunately, because there was a penalty on the play, but this would have been the play that would have won us, won us the game. Mm -hmm. um, Coco had us by maybe a couple points, and I, I, we called the play, Coach called the play, and it didn't work out. So I kind of just took off up and did what I did. <laughs> Got to finish his own. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the play was called back because of a hole, and I believe. So, I mean, that, me personally, that was my biggest play of the season. I mean, I had a couple a couple good plays with me personally. That was my favorite and best yeah. play, in my opinion, that I wish would have counted because we would have won that game. But unfortunately, things happen. So, we yeah. Have to move. You got to adapt and overcome, man. Um, so, we said you're an athlete. You can play on both sides of the ball. Uh, what are the things you do best as a player? As a player, I lead my team lead by example and just try and keep everybody motivated and doing what we do best. And so teams, teams, coaches, teammates, they all go through obstacles, but it's about how we all stick together and keep it pushing no matter what goes on and no matter the circumstances. Very good answer. Very good, man. Um, Who is your favorite current or former team? Why? My favorite current or former teammate? Yeah. Me personally, I gotta glow my boy Malcolm. Malcolm Bailey, uh, my Robert oh, yeah. High School number five. Mm -hmm. We had some fun together, but once again, my line got the job done. I wouldn't be able to do anything or get the ball to him. My wide receiver, Malcolm Bailey, my guy. I wouldn't be able, but I wouldn't have been able to done what I did without my linemen and my teammates and my coaching staff believing in me. I got the job done. <laughs> very good very good man uh, we talked about the things you do best as a player what are the things you think you need to improve on as a player on the field next year the things I think I need to improve on I think I need to up my leadership I feel like I can be more vocal and get on my, on my teammates about the things that they can do better and 
just being becoming like a, a bigger and better leader than more than I was last year and the year before. Very good. That's very important to you. That, that's great. Man. That's great. Um, you know, you watch college football. You watch the NFL. Who's someone you pat in your game after? Someone that I pat in my game after. I gotta go. I gotta go with Mark Ingram. I gotta go. Up. Very good. I love Mark Ingram. I watched him when he was in college, and I felt now he's with the Ravens. Them boys, I, they had a little slip up this year, but they gonna get this up close next year. I believe. <laughs> I gotta go for my boy Mark Ingram. I love him. Mm-hmm. I modify my game after him a lot. Very good. Very good comparison. Um, Who would you like to shout out for your football success so far? A shout out for my football success. I gotta go with my coach, Coach Caldwell. My God, I've, I've known him since the sixth grade. That's my big cousin, Quavius Wright, played with him in high school. He's always kind of been like a, a big brother, a father, a father figure to me. He's always believed in me. He stood by me when I was in the wrong and crazy when I was in the right. So I, I believe Coach Caldwell is a big part of my success in this game we call football. Awesome. Awesome, man. We've had a lot of people come on and um, say some nice things in the comments. Is there anything you want to say to them right now? I mean, whatever it is in life you want, man, go get it. By the grace of God, it'll all work out. Just believe and keep pushing no matter what obstacles hit you, come your way, no matter what tries to stop you. Whatever goes on, always push through and keep striving for greatness. That's well said, man. And you're, you're speaking like a leader. And, uh, you know, if I was back coaching, you'd be a captain on my team. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. <laughs> man um, I'm glad uh, you came on tonight. Uh, it was great that you shared your testimony with us. Um, you know, I wish you the best of luck next season. Of course, we're going to be out there. And, um, you know, I know I'm going to be at a couple of your games uh, getting those highlights once again. Man. 